Hi and welcome to another video from the Intelligent Auto channel. Today we have a 2011 Ford Transit Connect. It's a 1.8 TDCI and it was recovered in as a crank non-star. <laughs> And as you can see, no engine speed being registered. So there I am. Uh, the, I'm back probed into the two wires on the ECU plug. So I think we've got enough evidence there to conclusively condemn the engine ECU on this vehicle. Right, here I am back at this uh, Transit Connect, the one that's got the... Um, engine speed signal issue. I've got a, a replacement ECU or a used one. Um, so I'm now gonna fit that ECU using, fit and program it using IDS. So I need to select a program module installation, PCM. There must be an outstanding bulletin for this vehicle because it's in th asking for a TSB. I want to perform it. Uh, I might as well say yes. Um, it's asking the, the required calibration file, file is not found. Would you like to uh, the diagnostic to, to go and look for it on the network? Click yes. So what it'll do, it'll It'll bring down the latest version of software for this van. During module reprogramming, the module goes through a VIN verification process. This process compares the VIN in this module with the VIN in other modules on the vehicle. You may see the VIN verification screen more than once, depending upon your response to the question. Just click yes. And it's asking us to verify the VIN, and I know that's the VIN for the vehicle. So I'm now going to install the new module to the vehicle. I'm just got it hanging out the V Lodge for now. I'll uh, clip it all back up as and when I need to. been off that many times. Take some teasing to get out. ECU out. Replacement going in. There we go. And back to IDS. So I've installed it. Yes. Do not start reprogramming session with a lower battery in the vehicle as the fuel pump and cooling fans may run during programming. Um, so I've got a battery support on, I'm just gonna check that, switch that on. So battery support's now on. Switch ignition on. Now we're raising the file off that ECU. And so now we're doing the programming. Just 
So seeing it hasn't been possible to transfer some data, some adaption values. Uh, possible cause was it was not possible to communicate with the old PCM. The data is corrupt. No repair action is needed. However, the engine may not run as smoothly as it did until the further CNS adaption takes place during normal driving. Perform the following powertrain service function. It's asking us to reset the DBF values. Click OK on that. That's a good sign that that old ECU was corrupt. Calibration has been loaded and checked. If you program a 6 litre diesel, please reinstall the FICM relay, which I'm not. If required to obtain PCM programming label, it's for warranty. Skip past that. Run a path service function which will line the immobiliser up. Operation was successful. And programming colour complete. Switch on the ignition. So I'll clear all the fault codes. Switch ignition off again. And we're back to where we started. So put the ignition back on. And get the engine speed data up on screen. So anyway, the key's programmed now, the paths is aligned. So I'm going to go for a start up. So, my diagnosis was correct. A bad engine ECU, uh, and it wasn't receiving the, or it wasn't, what's the word for it? It wasn't translating the data from the engine speed signal, from the engine speed sensor, sorry. So I'll just prove that we've now got engine speed. Going to data logger. RPM bit of bonus I've just opened this ECU up to have a look inside of it now that we know that this other one was actually faulty and at first glance everything looks all right but if I get really close on the board if you can see uh, that there was four solder joints there it was like a little bit of a Corrosion, bit of white staining, which would basically be evident of water ingress on the ECU. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get the board out. Um, anywhere else? 
just kind of looks all right. Let's see. The area of concern is there. You can see there's like a sort of a grey haze around those solder joints, you see, which would be indicative of water. Getting an ECU, which is what the problem with this vehicle was from the first outset was the wheel arch liner was missing and the ECU sits inside the wheel arch liner. I'll see if I can get the... I don't think I will be able to do something if I can get the board out, but it's sitting in a heat sink, I probably can't. But it's scrap anyway, it's going in the bin. Thanks for watching.